Hello and welcome to Invisent News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. Tax evasion is being carried out on a massive scale at Sitabadi Mobile Accessories Market, taking advantage of a craze among youths for equipping their smart mobile phones with all kinds of accessories. The dealers at the Sitabadi Market are indulging in a tax theft by selling cheap product in the name of branded companies. According to sources, the cunning dealer do not issue valid bills to customers for the sale of mobile accessories. Since no bill is issued for sale of accessories, there is no record of purchase and sale. With this traffic, not only the customers are being fleeced, but paying revenue to the government is also being avoided by the accessories dealers. The dubious practice is being carried out by dealers openly. Some dealers have also been found selling duplicate accessories in the name of reputed companies. A rashly driven car knocked a two-wheeler dead near Vanjari Nagar water tank in Ajni Polish area on Monday night. The accused car driver has been arrested. The deceased has been identified as Kailash Shivaram Patil, about 42 years, resident of Savitri by Fulen Nagar. According to police, the accused Kishore Ramraj Shangir, resident of plot number 208 Rati colony, was going in his disturbed car towards a TB ward from Tukuloji Statue Square around 11 p.m. on Monday. The accused was driving his car recklessly. Midway near Banjari Nagar water tank, Kishore's car rammed a Hero Honda bike and injured the rider Kailash Patel grievously. Kailas died on the spot before any medical help. Ajni PSI calmly registered a case against the accused car driver Kishore Jangir under Section 279304A of the IPC and placed him under arrest. Jari Bhatka police have booked two teenagers on the charge of attacking another teenager with a sharp edge weapon and attempting to kill him. The incident occurred on Monday night. The complainant Bina Anand Sarochkar Resident of Saraswati Nagar on Nara Road told Jiri Patka police that she received information that her son Harsh Aliyaj Akshay was attacked and has been taken to May Hospital for treatment. When she went to the hospital, she saw her seriously injured with stab injuries on his abdomen, back and hand. When asked, Harsh told his mother that he was attacked with a sharp edge weapon by two accused named Duni Aliyaz Abhishek Harware and Sanjay Nirmalkar Jiri Patka API. V.S. Dumal has registered a case against the two accused under Section 307-34 of the Indian Penal Code and launched a manhunt. Further probe in the case is underway. The NMC has been making all-out efforts over the past seven months to control the growing number of corona-positive cases and casualties. These efforts are resulting in success to significant extent. The NMC is giving stress on testing and through the initiative of the health department. 50 COVID care centers have been established in the city and the centers testing on 1,52,221 tests were carried out during September. As compared to August in September, 70,117 more tests have been done. As per ICMS record, COVID-19 testing on 3,37,446 persons have been performed from the outbreak of the pandemic in March till now. Of these, as many as 1,52,229 tests have been carried out in the month of September alone. The positive rate has come down to 18.5%. As per RDO guideline, it is compulsory for a vehicle user to have a proper number plate on his or her vehicle. But nowadays, there is a trend, especially among youngsters, to use fancy number plates. Such number plates are usually having names of the loved ones of the vehicle owner or any celebrities who the concerned owner is a fan of. Such undesirable words or characters are often in close vicinity of the vehicle number, the knowledge of which is often vitally essential for cops, especially while dealing with situations like criminals escaping, road mishaps and other eventualities. Hence, as per the new guidelines, with effect from Tuesday, strict action will be taken against those using fancy number plates. And rupees 1000 fine will be imposed on offenders. DCP Vikram Sali has issued instructions to traffic cops in this concern. As many as 23 persons succumbed to COVID-19 on Tuesday, with this the cumulative death toll in the district has reached 2,682. On the other hand, 1,425 persons went home after recovery and obtaining permission from the concerned medical authorities. With this, the total number of recovered patients in the district is now 70,767, including patients who have recovered during home isolation and treatment. The recovery rate of the district has now improved to 85.15%.
the total corona positive cases tally of Nagpur district is now at 83,105 with 898 positive cases coming to light in the last 24 hours. While giving a breakup of the deaths concerned, medical officials revealed that of the total casualties, 467 and 1,949 victims are from the rural and urban areas of the district respectively, while as many as 266 persons are from outside Nagpur district. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnakar says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and your family.